What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use overlays in Vegas Pro 15. Now currently on the screen what you're seeing is an example I have created of overlays you can use in Vegas Pro 15. There's a lot more than what I've just shown you and there's a lot more than I'm going to be showing you in this video as well. So this is the overlay pack I have downloaded. Yes, there's 37 things, but like I mentioned, there's a lot more overlays out on YouTube. This is just one pack. Now this specific pack I am using, I will link in the description for you. But here we go. So this is the footage I have. Now this is me holding the camera and walking, then looking left and right, pretty simple. So adding an overlay, first of all, we need to right click and insert another video track. So I'm going to drag and drop this overlay on. Now for those wondering if you download this overlay, it's number 35. And currently, as soon as we add our overlay, the video is literally hidden. We cannot see it. Now I see a lot of people in the comments saying sometimes they're going to lower the opacity. Although yes, it does work in some sense, you then have a dark tint over the video. So to actually do this properly, you come up to these three lines here, select compositing mode, and from there, you're going to select screen. Now you can see all the black has gone and we are left with the overlay. Just like that, pretty simple. Now, even though I just showed you compositing mode and screen, it doesn't mean you can't experiment with others. For example, if I use multiply and mask, some people may like this effect. So if I show you how this looks now, you can see it's like these spotlights are showing specific parts of the video. So you can use other ones, but screen is the main one to use if you want to get rid of all the black. But another one I also recommend is overlay. So overlay looks like this, kind of like multiply, just a little bit different and a bit more brighter. Again, you choose which one you want. I'm just showing you examples from here. And then of course the video goes back to like this. But this brings me on to my next point, which is quite important. So let's say you do end up using this current composite mode. Now this composite mode is overlay. So you might think, yeah, okay, it looks good while the overlay is on. But when the overlay goes off, the video is left in this format. And of course you don't want that. So we need a way around it. So to put the video back to normal, first of all, select your video and split it right here. Then insert a video track above your overlay and drag this video onto that track. So this will no longer be affected by the overlay. So if I play it, you can see it'll go back to normal just like that. Of course, when you do it, make it a bit more slick, maybe do a fade. So again, I'll show you that as well. So just bring it back and then fade this one out while fading this one in and playing it through from here. You can see it looks a lot more slick like that instead of just a harsh transition. So you can be really creative with overlays. And like I said, I will be linking the overlay I used in this video in the description. Now, if you want to search for more yourself, just simply type in YouTube overlay pack and a ton of different packs will come up. <laughs> 